So I am Karen Smith, the Oshimura Program Officer in the OCLC Research Office in San Mateo, California. And I am quickly going to cover one aspect of our multilingual bibliographic structure project. Its primary goal is to make it possible to present bibliographic information in the preferred language and script of the reader. So the project seeks to leverage the multilingual content of WorldCat. There are now more than 300 million records in WorldCat, today representing the holdings of the world's libraries. Of the 300 million, more than half are in languages other than English. We have been focusing on the content that is most likely to be of interest to the most people, translations. The cream of the world's cultural and knowledge heritage is shared by being translated, and WorldCat contains many rich cataloging records to these translations. The Virtual International Authority file, an aggregation of national authority of 30 agencies worldwide, identifies 15 million unique persons. When we data mine WorldCat, only 7% have written works that have been translated into at least one other language, and only 7,000 have had their works translated into 10 or more languages. This represents the short head of works that are the most impact on readers worldwide. So I've listed here a few sample authors of classics and Nobel Prize laureates for literature and the number of languages, number of languages their works have been translated into as represented in WorldCat. See that list? Okay, so. Here's one title written by each of those authors in the original language and script. So likely you've all heard, or all or most of them, right? Well, probably you know them by their English titles. Now, the relationship of a work with an author and its associated translations with their respective translators is relatively straightforward. This diagram captures the relationship by two reciprocal links, one from the original Chinese book written in the Ming Dynasty in the blue box on top, through its property has translation, pointing with the blue arrows to each translation in the red boxes, and one from each translation back to the original Chinese work with the red arrows through the property is translation of. Now, a work can have many translations, and there can be multiple translations in the same language, such as the two English translations shown here, which is why identifying the translator is so important. Now, we have been data mining WorldCat to generate work translation or expression level records, including the translated title and translator with links to the original work and the author and adding them to the Virtual International Authority file. These records are flagged as XR. Now here's a concrete example of the impact of what we're doing. This is Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, which originally had 13 translations associated with it. Now after we generated the XR records for other translations as data mined from WorldCat, the number increased to, you want to take a guess? No, not 20, 50, 50. And the list goes on. And on. actually, we went all the way back down there. <laughs> um, so far, we have added 1.3 million XR records to VF, representing these works and translations. So UNESCO has also been interested in identifying and aggregating translations worldwide for an international bibliography of translations. And they've been at it for over 80 years. This database they have represents entries contributed from UNESCO members since 1979, that's 25 years worth, and contains two million titles. Yet when we compare the results for a specific work, and I use Kawabata Snow Country, or Yukiguni, we can see that the contrib contributions OCLC member libraries have made through WorldCat are far greater than all the work invested so far by the UNESCO member states. The UNESCO database has shows translations of Kawabata's Yukiguni in only three languages, English, Italian, and Arabic. And BF, with the XR records data mined from libraries' contributions to WorldCat, 
supplementing those from VF contributors, we have a list of translations in 25 languages. These are all part of the contributions you and yours have made to WorldCat. So we are now working on enhancing the VF display to make the contents of these records more visible. This is a mock-up of a VF consolidated display showing the work with expression summary. It shows each title as it is translated in each title. Then we have a mock-up of the full expression summary for the work Pêcheur des Islandes by Pierre Lotti. All of them shown in a single list by language and translated title and how many of those translations exist in that language. And then this is the mock-up of the BF full display showing different translations of the title plus the translator of each and the earliest determined publication date of each. So machines access BF actually far more often than humans. So to leverage all the work done by the OCLC cooperative, we want to share the relationships we've established between original works and their associated translations with the semantic web. Here is a sample markup of an original Chinese work written by Gao Xianjing, a Chinese Nobel laureate for literature, and one of the translations of his works into English. We mark this up with schema.org, but there are two new terms we are proposing shown here um, in red and shown with the arrows, translator and translation of work. Now, although I've been focusing on all of our work done in BF here, the same process contributes to WorldCat work descriptions, the ones that were released earlier this year. Those relationships that we're establishing in BF will also flow into WorldCat works over time. So this work, helps us understand the extent to which information is shared across cultures. And here are some of the questions we should be able to answer soon. And I'm not going to read them. Um, you can just look at them. And I'm just going to go ahead and pass this off to Constance. <laughs>